What's up, Metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel, and thank you guys so much for being here. If you're new, please consider subscribing. Getting very close to hitting that 1,000 subscriber mark, and uh, thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, got here quicker than I thought we would uh, in the beginning. I thought it would take me at least a year to hit 1,000, but thanks to all you guys, we hit it pretty quickly, and uh, I really appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, if you appreciate this video, enjoy the video, hit that like button for me. That helps get the video uh, pushed out to new viewers so new people will see it. And today I got an interesting knife for you. This knife was sent in uh, by Mr. Will B. himself, uh, the man with the biggest pockets in the community. And uh, this knife is going to be for sale. Uh, he sent this and a, a Nimble X and a couple other uh, more premium knives on the way here uh, from another uh subscriber and uh, that one those are an american blade works knife and a shiro a shiro neon are coming so i'm gonna, when those get here i'm gonna do like a little short uh sell video just for a few more premium knives that are available it's not going to be like my big sales where there's close to 100 knives available this is just going to be short and sweet it'll be within the next couple of weeks and this one will be one of them and this is a big knife this is a big knife for sure this is the BRS Evolve Kopesh or Kopesh K H O P E S H dash B2 uh, shred carbon fiber uh, scales. I don't know if these liners are titanium or not. Let's find out real fast. Are these titanium liners? No, they are not titanium liners. They are steel liners. Um, do have titanium standoffs in the back, which have some interesting looking milling on them. I like that actually. I think those are titanium. They may be brass. Um, I'm not sure about that. Could be brass there, but it's pretty lightweight. So titanium pocket clip for sure. 4.1 inch blade here. Beautiful stonewash finish on it. This is the first uh, BRS or Evolve knife I've had in hand. And I got to say, I'm pretty impressed initially here. Um, this thing has guillotine action. It seriously has some guillotine action. If I remember correctly, Will told me this one bit him. This one got him. So you can see there similar to the uh the devo stout this thing just completely free fall drops once you pass the detent brake is a little late but as long as you hold the liner over it goes right past it and if you keep your thumb up high you don't have to worry about coming down and getting you see it might it hit my thumb just pull your thumb out of the way um just buttery smooth action on this knife m390 blade still titanium bolsters um yeah good looking knife big knife 6.3 uh, ounces on this one really good ergonomics uh, even for a medium sized hand but a larger hand which i believe will has a larger hand uh, you probably uh really enjoy the ergos on this knife as you can see from my hand size when i really choke up like how much knife is sticking out back here but back here in a normal grip where my thumb lands on that jimping perfectly not too much sticking out, but quite a bit for a medium-sized hand. This is definitely a, a larger knife. Pocket clip goes in and out of the pocket extremely well. Works very well, actually. It did a great job on these transitions from the titanium to the carbon fiber. Can't even feel them. They're seamless. Like If you close your eyes and rub your finger over it, you wouldn't even know there is a seam there. Well, I can feel the titanium feels a little different than the carbon, but as far as the seam, it's seamless. Extremely good fit and finish on this knife. Yeah, it looks really nice. Looks like it's T6 hardware, though. If that's, oops. If that's the case, that would actually surprise me for the size of this knife. Yep, T6 hardware. Pivot's T8. But uh, the other hardware is T6. And, uh, yeah... Let me give you the overall specs on it, and then I'll give you guys some size comparisons on this one. <laughs> overall length is nine and a quarter. Uh, blade length is four point one two five inches. Blade width is an inch, one point three seven five inches. Blade thickness thickness is one hundred sixty thousandths. Clip point blade M three ninety blade still uh, plain edge. Uh, handle width is one inch. Handle thickness is a little over half an inch at 0.54 inches. Um, Liners are still, it is tip up right hand or left hand, so the pocket clip is reversible. And yeah, made in China, but most things are. It is on uh, ceramic, cage ceramic ball bearings, and it does have a ceramic ball detent, so 
good lockup. The action is the star of the show with this knife. I mean, the only other knife I have here right now that would drop like this is that stout. You know, the stout drops very similar to that. Just complete free fall drop. Yeah. Since I got it out here, we'll use the stout as a size comparison. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you now, I don't have to, a knife here that's this large, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I do. Actually, I think I have a, a cold steel. Uh, I think I still have that cold steel here. I don't think it's sold yet. There it is against the uh, Devo Stout. Here it is against the Nimble X, which is a larger knife, in my opinion, anyway. And uh, it's a lot bigger than the Nimble X. Um, actually, I got this one here. It's pretty large right now. The uh, Gripper, Jason Grant Gripper. It's even quite longer than the Gripper. Probably got half an inch on the gripper. Uh, the Spyderco Shaman's pretty big. And the Best Tech Exploit is also pretty large. But it looks tiny compared to this knife. Both knives look pretty small compared to this. The Capiche? Capiche? I think it's Capiche. You know what I mean? Do you Capiche? Uh, I could be wrong about that though. The name of it's in the title, so if I'm pronouncing that wrong, you'll see how it's spelled in the title of the video. So I'll uh, do a couple of the regulars here, give you, in case you guys don't have any of those knives. QSP Penguin. Looks like a child's toy next to this knife. Um, the Benchmade Bug Out. Um, a lot of people have gotten the variant recently, the Vist variant, PE2. Kvist, I should say. Kvist variant PE2. And, yeah, we're going to do a pair of three and a pair of two. There's a pair of three. And a pair of two. Again, I don't have anything quite this size here. I think I have that cold steel, but it's boxed up and put away at the moment, so I'm not going to try to dig that out. But that'll give you a good idea on the size. It's a big one. It's a big one for sure. And uh, I'm sure that has something to do with that drop action, the weight of that blade. But it's not just the weight of the blade, man. You can just feel it. It's buttery smooth. The reverse flick is fantastic. Thumb flick is fantastic. I mean, the detent is really good on this knife. You can hear it pop in there. Bring it up to the mic and you hear that detent pop in. Unfortunately, I can't like slowly push it down because it just drops on me <laughs> so but you can hear it pop out too listen i'm gonna pull the blade out right now from the detent and you'll hear that pop that's the out that's the end that's what she said anyway and yeah carbon fiber has done really well really good ergos very cool knife the action's so good on this and so buttery smooth, it makes me want to check out some of their other knives. But something smaller, of course. This is much too large for my hands, but I would love to check out something of theirs that's smaller. Because uh, it's a company I'm not familiar at all with, and uh, I'm impressed. Really impressed with this one. Just how good the action feels. It's not just how it drops. It's, it's just silky smooth. You feel no vibration on the open or the close. It's just silky smooth. It's just like... Literally like it's on glass. Yeah, very cool. Uh, and you, keep an eye out for the video. I'll do like a mini sell video or something like that here in the next couple of weeks. And uh, if you guys are interested in this or any of the other knives, details for it will be in the description of that video, but it'll work just like the bigger knife sales do. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and I will see you guys on the next one.